Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Yeah, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gancho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it, said Dino Wall. Yeah, uh... Okay, uh, listen. Happy birthday. Uh, lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. Well, bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Aiden! You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? What game? Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. Win or out. Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? And I'll drink. What? What are you hiding, Aiden? Don't think you're taking the easy way out. The drunker you get, the less you care about keeping your secrets. Oh, shut up, Ro. You, Aiden. Drink, my friend. Okay. Your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean play? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. There. Let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. You might think I'm tough and all, but I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. You're my ragamuffin. I know it's just a silly name, but you set heart of flame. It's true. Good Lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was... that was something. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the Master Assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, Ro. It's not your turn. Oh yeah, the 
The hit list. How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did. It started with one. Then there was another one. And then a whole bunch of them. But who was the first one? That's another question. Drink. No. He's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC tower. Frank lost almost everyone. The night runners fell. Frank started to drink. Gave up on life. On himself. So... I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Gadjo! Here you are! Thank you. Thank you, Vodka. Thank you. Let's drink! For me, and another year in this shithole. You're not the worst, you know. Are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. How the hit list started? <sighs> gajo, Gajo. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Levan about her past. You get it? Good. Now, get lost. It's my birthday. snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Ah, oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. 
modeled the year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center, while the colonel squats in the dam. The colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the colonel would close the floodgates, and the rising levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. And it's been a stalemate for over 10 years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed, and the renegades attacked the canteen. I'm not here for my health. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Using me to make a move of your own. I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolan. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it.
Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on, let's get you to a doctor. Devlin's upstairs. Hey, you're Devlin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad, not bad, Aiden. Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional. And you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? I'm a pilgrim. I haven't been here long. A pilgrim? Did you travel far to reach the city? Quite a long way, yes. Why? Have you been to Marseille by any chance? I'm sorry. I never heard of the place. My hometown. I wonder what's become of it. Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh. No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. Remember, the boy's name is Sebastian. Great. Supply are quite a helpless bunch, it seems. What did you expect? There were ordinary people before the fall. Craftsmen, teachers, gardeners, not fighters.
Shit. What's going on? Renegades. More of them. Again? That's crazy. It has to be part of something the Butcher and Waltz are brewing. But why now? Found your men. Um, some of them, at least. I'm sorry to say, they're dead. Aiden? You sure? How many? Two bodies. Both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for them. They were totally berserk. It's crazy, I know. Something must have happened to them. They used to be regular soldiers, most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They kill everyone in their path. Like mad? What do you mean? They say Williams treats them like animals, and they go wild. Crazy and unpredictable. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Found him. 